Hi everyone, I will be presenting our work on evolving reinforcement learning algorithms. So today there exists a wide choice of RL algorithms and each has their uh, benefits and weaknesses according to the environment. Um, and so the goal of this work is to automate the development of new RL algorithms such that learned algorithms can outperform existing ones and generalize to a wide variety of environments. Um, so to do this, we will represent an R algorithm as a computational graph, which will compute the loss function uh, for your parameters, which will then be um, optimized with gradient descent. So as an example, here's the computational graph for GQN, where we have input nodes in blue to represent things like the state action, next state and reward pairs. Um, and then we have operator nodes in blue, uh, which apply things like neural networks and basic math operators. Uh, and then parameter nodes in uh, gray represent the parameters of neural networks. Well, finally, uh, the output node in green, uh, which computes the final scalar uh, value, which will be minimized with gradient descent. And so uh, for our search space, we use generic operators, such as basic math operators, uh, but also transformation operators that can go from, for example, state to uh, real value or state to a list using a neural network. So now uh, we have this language, uh, and how can we optimize over this space to learn new algorithms? So we take um, an evolutionary based approach where we first initialize a population of our algorithms randomly. And a subset of this population can also be initialized with known existing algorithms to help uh, the search process. So once we have this population, uh, we can then um, mutate uh, these algorithms to get new, new mutated algorithms, and then evaluate this uh, proposed algorithm over a, a wide set of cheap uh, training environments. And then according to this performance, uh, we can then update the population accordingly. And then finally at the end, um, we can take the best algorithm over the set of training environments and then evaluate it on a set of test environments. Um, so I briefly highlight two learned algorithms, uh, which we called DQN clipped and DQN reg. Uh, and we noticed that even though we didn't um, explicitly encode this, we find that DQN reg can um, basically regularize Q values because overestimating Q values uh, is a common problem with uh, DQN. And compared to things like uh, double DQN, um, we find that this learned algorithm has similar uh, behavior in regularizing the Q values. Um, so over the set of both training and test environments, we find that our learned algorithms in purple and red can greatly outperform existing um, algorithms in both sample efficiency and final performance. Um, and then we also test on Atari, even though the meta training environments run on image based environments, and find we can get a good performance with these learned algorithms. So, in conclusion, um, I presented a method for learning new RL algorithms. Um, on simple environments, which generalize to complex image-based environments. And these algorithms are represented as a computational graph, uh, which can then be interpreted later. Uh, and these, in this instance, the learned algorithms uh, can be viewed as a regular regularization technique to prevent value overestimation. Um, and so for future work, uh, we plan on expanding to uh, actor-critic algorithms and also uh, offline RL algorithms.